Hello and welcome to another hacking episode of XTV Gamers and in this episode I will show you how to hack a Wi-Fi on network's password using the web interface method and not the brute force method that I used in my previous video. The brute force method was such that I need to have the dictionary before I can process hacking and the chances of getting the key is very less using that method. But the web interface method is such that uh, this method clones the existing Wi-Fi access point with a duplicate one and whenever a user tries to connect it and connect to it, he or she is redirected to a website uh, which seems like it has been done with a router for some security reasons and your password is need to be entered in order to uh, continue using the internet. And a point to be noted is that don't use this video for any illegal activities because this method is considered illegal if you do without, uh, without the permission of the user. So kindly proceed with your own risk and I'm also, I'm not a illegal advisor so be careful what you do. Uh, otherwise, don't blame me if you uh, if you are in trouble or something. And all the information related to Fluxion, how to obtain it, how to use it, how to fix any problem if you get, they are that are all in my description. So kindly read that before commenting anything about your problem. So open Fluxion. Right click, open in terminal. Now you can close this. First, let me check if I have captured any handshake previously or not. No. Maximize it dot slash Fluxion hit enter Now Fluxion is launching hit ok Now if it shows that you need to update Fluxion then kindly update it before proceeding hacking So select one for your language if you are a German guy then uh, type two if you are a Romanian guy Type three if you are Turkish four if you are Spanish five if you are Chinese six if you are Italian seven Ok uh, that will be uh, correspond to, uh, <laughs> you select what language you speak so I'll select English and my Wi-Fi card goes into monitor mode in some cases your card might not go into monitor mode in that case this attack fails if you are unsure if your Wi-Fi card supports monitor mode or not kindly read my description there is shown that which chipset supports that and which Wi-Fi network card supports that so and uh, there is also a recommended Wi-Fi card for that so all the description you will find in my description so kindly read that so, yeah, so hit 1 for all channels if you want to specify some channels hit 2 but I will select all channels hit 1 and enter then it will scan for Wi-Fi networks if you think if you have waited enough for all the Wi-Fi access point to be, uh, to be come up so you can close this so I will select number two the Wi-Fi zone is my Wi-Fi so it has been shown that I have active client on Wi-Fi zone it means that user is connected to it so do have enter now here is the attack option if you want to use fake AB host pad it's recommended if you want to use fake AB airbase dash ng it, it has been shown slower connection and WPS slaughter stands for brute force WPS pin um, that method is something similar to that dictionary method that I used in my previous video. If you are interested enough to, uh, if you are curious enough to watch my previous video, then the link for that video is also at the description. And a brute force is useless, as I told you. So hit one and error. So if you have previously captured any handshake, then you can specify the location. But if you haven't captured any location, uh, I mean handshake before, so hit error to skip, and it will proceed to. Uh, capture a screenshot in the sorry in handshake in the next step so hit enter so this shows that how you want to uh, capture the handshake if you want to use aircraft dash ng you can use that it has been shown missed chance but I haven't missed chance till now if you want to use pirate you can do that so hit enter I will choose the aircraft dash ng so um, if you want to authenticate all, you can do that. If you want to authenticate all with MDK3 method, you, can, you, feel, you, are, you feel free to do that. If you want to authenticate a specific target, um, you can do that. Or if you want to rescan the networks, then also you can do that. But I would recommend that you authenticate all if you don't have any problem. So one, hit enter. And now this X terminal opens on my right hand side and it will try to capture a handshake. Um, this process takes some time and it has been uh, shown that WPA handshake has been captured 
So once you have, uh, once you, once the handshake has been captured, uh, hit one in, or, in order to check handshake. Now handshake has been captured. Now here is your two option. What do you want to use? Web interface or brute force? Uh, I highly, highly recommend web interface, and this video is based on web interface only. And brute force, what do you say? Sucks. Hit one and add. So select your login page. Uh, it would be more convenient uh, uh, if the um, what to say if the victim has a TP link router then select 32 for TP link. If you want to select anything like Vodafone, Netgear, whatever you want, I will just go with number one that is English. One and enter. And the attack has been launched. And let me show you what happens while this. Okay. So it will clone my Wi Fi network, I mean Wi Fi zone, and it will um, duplicate it, but without the security, by the way. So this process might take some time, so kindly keep patience. As failing in this, this method, the chances are very less. So, I don't think you will fail. So, I have been redirected to a website in my MacBook and I will enter the password. And as soon as I click on submit, the password will be sent to me like this. What's out? connection will be restored in a few moments and boom that's the password for security reasons I can't show you the whole I mean the full password but this is how you use web interface method in order to hack a Wi-Fi uh, networks password so that was the end so this is the end of the tutorial I hope that you have enjoyed hit like if you enjoyed it dislike if you disliked it don't forget to click on the bell icon if you are using YouTube application, I mean YouTube app in order to get notification about my channel. So thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll catch up with you in my next video.